The Sandlot, a fun children's movie about baseball and a big scary dog. A big scary dog that varies drastically in size and believability depending on the scene and the shot and how it looks. <laughs> but we've loved this classic tale about friendship and baseball for what seems like forever. And that's probably because it was filmed all the way back in 1992. 30 years ago. And today we're going to be trekking all around the Salt Lake City area to track down all of those iconic filming locations. And I'm very excited about where we're starting because as soon as I drove up, I could immediately just see the movie playing out in my head. I can't believe I'm staring down this street. Like, this, this is the Sandlot Street. That's so cool. It's Small's house. And although it looks fairly different. There are some unique characteristics that are definitely the same, like that corner window. And the windows still have that um, crisscross pattern. I think it's called gr a grill on the window. It definitely is not pink anymore. <laughs> it's seen some updates, but it looks pretty much the same. One of the first scenes that we see is Scotty unpacking right here. So Scotty first interacts with Benny as he's walking on his way home. That's Benny's house right there. Still looks fairly similar. Um, you know, it's got like the, the post and the, the street and the, the windows. Like you can tell that uh, pr pretty much nothing has changed, maybe like a paint job, but, but overall still looks pretty similar. And then right over here is Ham's house. It looks fairly similar as well. I can just picture them walking down the street and uh, it's just unbelievable that this was filmed 30 years ago. It's also very definitely in summer and we're here in peak winter, so um, it, it does look different in the, the seasonality. If you want it to look like it did in the movie, probably don't come here in March, <laughs> but it is nice to see like just the, the street, it's, it's here, it's the same and it's pretty neat. Gotta love Utah. The neighbor came out and said, hey, Sandlot, right? I said, yep. She said, did you find the house you're looking for? Did you, do you need any help? Gotta love people in Utah, they're just the sweetest, even when you're disturbing their property. Check that one off the list. Next up, we're gonna go see the actual Sandlot. And hey, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We make all kinds of filming locations videos, videos about geeky, nerdy things. So definitely check out our Home Alone filming locations video if you haven't yet, we'll leave that below. Wow, that is the sand lot. And I say wow in a not, not so great way. It's pretty unrecognizable. It's one of the most disappointing filming locations I've probably ever seen. You just, you, you can't even get that close to it because there are signs everywhere saying that there's video surveillance, no trespassing. It, it's through the yard in the field behind this house. However, you, you can't really even see it for what it is. The actual diamond was right up in the corner near the house and it looks like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the fence line where the beast was is just, there's there aren't any houses there at all. I don't know if those were torn down or if they were just part of the movie. I think that whole fence line just doesn't exist. There's a small fence there, but it's not what it was in the movie. So it's just like a compound of things that it doesn't really look like it at all. There's no diamond there. There's not any of the, you know, the fencing around, I don't know what you call that, like where the near the dugout, but it's not a dugout because there was no dugout. Anyway, I don't baseball. <laughs> There's a lot missing for it to be a really good filming location, but it is neat to see it in person. Just be careful if you come here because they really do not, they've made it very clear, they don't want people visiting. You know, I, I wish that this could be, uh, you know, like a little community park or something, but the people that own it, they just don't want visitors. So if, if you come here, just make sure that you don't trespass, that you stay on the sidewalk. All right, should we go see if there's other things that are, I'm looking for like a, a Smalls House-esque caliber uh, exciting location. So let's, let's go find one of those. <laughs> We've made it to the town of Midvale, which has a cute little downtown area. Right here is Vincent Drug. This is the drugstore that the boys are in and out of throughout the whole movie.
we get introduced to this location pretty early on, but uh, I think the most memorable scene filmed here is the introduction of Wendy Peppercorn. <laughs> It's really cool because at the time of filming, this was an actual old-timey drugstore. Vincent Drug has been around since, I think like 1911 or in the early 1900s. It actually started as a saloon and uh, changed to a drugstore during Prohibition and was a popular place in town. It was known for having like the best soda fountain in town. If you think this seems familiar, not just from the Sandlot, it's because it's actually been used in a lot of things. It was in Halloween 4 and 5. It was featured in the Stand miniseries, the, the Stephen King's The Stand, and a bunch of other things that weren't as familiar to me, but I thought that was pretty cool. This is all fenced off and closed off right now, so we're gonna have to find another way around back if, if it's even open, because I can see some construction and stuff back there. So we'll, we'll go around back and check out, see what, what it looks like. So this is the back entrance. This is also where they are seen hanging out. I think there's a, I think it's a Coca-Cola sign that was in the, the background there. I think that uh, those apartments are the same, but they look a little bit different of a color. It is luckily sunny because it is uh, quite cold right now. We have made the trek out to Ogden, which is about half an hour north of Salt Lake City. Pretty cute town if you've never been. But we're here for a very special filming location. I was trying to get my bearings, but that's it right there. That's, that's the pool. That's where Wendy Peppercorn was. Wendy Peppercorn's little lifeguard station would have been on the left side against that left wall. Looks like they have two stations across from where hers was, but those are not the spot she was sitting in. Those look like they're about the same. The one that Squints used where he pulled his famous stunt. She escorted him to the left around to, kind of hard to get the angle, but it was around to the side, around this side of the building right there. would have been right over this way that they would have been escorted out. Come around to the front here. They got their th clothes thrown all at them and then they ran off around here to the side to put them on. You get the idea. And the rest of them were getting their clothes on right in here. The beast also chases Benny through the pool area. He comes running out this way. Stand by, stand by, stand by. The rest of the gang is over here and they say shortcut to the sandlot. This way, sandlot, shortcut you guys, let's go. Benny goes running that way and they go running that way. Which means that way is the shortcut to the sandlot? Spoiler alert, it's not. It being uh, 36 degrees out right now means that the pool is not open right now. But if you come here in summer, you can actually go swimming at this pool. And you can even rent out the pool. I think it's like $180 for two hours. You could throw a sandlot pool party. Should we, should we pull our mo money together and, and throw a party here this summer? Let, let me know, I, I'm down. Seeing the house was cool. Seeing the pool might be my new favorite of today. That was pretty neat. Let's head back to Salt Lake City. We are at Riverside Park, not too far away from where the actual Sandlot is located. This, this baseball field's got a little bit more going on though. <laughs> Sadly, it is uh, currently locked, but this is where they play a game of baseball against the rich kids. We just watched The Sandlot again. Um, it was my first time in many years to watch it again. And one thing I noticed is I didn't, I didn't pick up on the fact that those kids were supposed to be well off. Like they're supposed to be better off than the kids from The Sandlot. Um, I didn't notice like that they rode in on their bikes and had matching uniforms and they were all cool. I did not gather that at all as a kid. It wasn't until this last watch that I was thinking, oh, 
Oh, I get it now. <laughs> were you like that too? Did you pick up on that when you were younger? M maybe you were a little bit more clued in than I was. <laughs> this looks pretty much unchanged from the movie. The little, um, the, the dugouts and the, the accent color is green. In the movie, I think it was like a brownish, brownish reddish color. Uh, other than that, it's, it's pretty much the same. There is definitely a different sign. That is not the, the old timey sign that was in the movie. Clearly has been updated and, you know, they don't have any of the old, like, little signs and signage. Uh, that is shown in the movie. Not that I would expect them to, but uh, we did check out a League of Their Own filming locations when we were in Indiana, and one of the stadiums, actually both stadiums that they used for filming, have touches like they say the Rockford Peach is still and like you can go visit them and they still look like they did in the movie which is very cool um you know the, the Sandlot doesn't quite have that happening but this field has one thing going for it and that is that it is an actual baseball field so I'm gonna call that a win we have one more baseball field to check out um, we're just gonna pop over there it's actually was used in the opening scene. There's just like a very quick opening scene where they're playing baseball, but it's not the Sandlot. That's the field that it is. We're gonna head there now. Hopefully it's not as sad as the Sandlot. It, ca it can't be, right? <laughs> Over here in this corner, this is where that field was because the mountains are in the background. The other one does not have the mountains in the background. And I think that house right there, you can see um, that little house with the little window up there is in the shot. The way that this one looks though, like this looks right. This looks like it does in the movie, except that the houses in the background don't match up and you can't see the mountains. The mountains are uh, along the back over there on the east end of town. And so if you're looking for it, you have to actually go all the way around back in the, the back of the school around the corner back there. Or you could just come to this spot and say you saw it. <laughs> it looks more like it does in the movie anyway. Our next stop is the alley where the beast, or Hercules, chases Benny. Would have been right in here that there was just garbage all over from the chaos that the beast created. In the alley, you can actually see the building, that shape of the, the curvature of the building that is in the shot in the alley where the kids come and they happen upon the previous chaos that just ensued. He then chases Benny through this parking lot. Benny runs in there. He crashes through the window after him. is a very destructive. And when you consider all of the time and effort that they spent trying to get the ball back without actually just going over to the neighbor's house and knocking on the door, like they ruined three of their mom's vacuums, I would assume is where those came from. And you know, the beast did all kinds of destruction. I mean, they could have just like gone, hi, hey, can, can we get our ball back? But I mean, I guess I was that kid too, where like, you know, your ball went over the fence and you're just like, well, we're never seeing that again. <laughs> I think we're just gonna call it a day here at this auditorium or what used to be an auditorium. It is now an LDS church. Looks like it's an LDS stake center, which is where they do events and stuff. So it probably still is kind of like an auditorium. Oh, okay. Good to know. And hey, in case you were wondering, Jeremy is here today. Carly has been a little bit of a handful today, huh? So he's had dog duty while, while I've been filming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming along with us today. I hope that you enjoyed visiting these locations, even if some of them are, uh, less amazing as we would hope that they would be in their current state. Hopefully that changes at some point along the line. If you haven't checked out some of our other filming locations, make sure you check those out. A huge shout out to our patrons. Thank you guys for supporting our channel and we will see you very soon. Shut up. You're killing me, Smalls.